How's it going guys, my name is Plixton and today I am going to be showing you this sunset that's rising above me on this beautiful morning of Lexington and these two towers. We've got High Cliff Tower and Dong Tower and I'm going to start off with Dong Tower just because it's small and slightly irrelevant but um, this is actually the first skyscraper of the world and it was built in survival um, and you see that area over there that used to be all desert uh, but the city grew I terraformed it and now it's just a bunch of skyscrapers but um, quite a while ago it was all just desert over there and underneath this building here is a house my first house of the world uh, I think I said on an introduction video that um, this world was started off in survival and over time it just grew and grew and grew and grew to dominate the entire world but uh, yeah this is Dong Tower you don't have to use your imagination that much to realize why it's nicknamed Dong Tower um, that was a slight design flaw I, I didn't notice how when I was building it uh, but I will come back to this when I do the history video of Lexington um, probably at the end of District 1 because all the history like that little door there is all part of uh, District 1 because that's where I start off my survival and that's where everything is basically. So if we move on now to Highcliff Tower, it's an apartment building so the video might be called Highcliff Apartments Tower or something. Um, this would be, if it was real life, the like most expensive apartment on the world because District 1 is probably the the best district for the world and um, this is a really central location for it right next to a road right next to a parking lot and uh, the reason it's called Highcliff Tower if we take a look is because it's next to this little high cliff here um, and that's why this was built I could ramble on about this tower for ages because there's so much little so many little things for it um, but it is based off of a tower in Hong Kong um, and that's called Highcliff Apartments but the difference between mine and that one is uh, mine cuts off here if you notice for the for, um, first tower is it it's the south tower isn't it? Uh, the south tower rises about one two three four five five floors and the little scoop on the end above the north tower which just gives it a little bit more effect it just looks a little better than the original building plus I had heard, um, these little lines that go out throughout the building but last week I released a tutorial and um, hopefully you guys enjoyed that and I do plan to do some tutorials on some of the buildings in this world probably including this one here uh, because it's one of my favorite buildings in the world and when it was built uh, alongside LA Center over there it it dominated the skyline but now it's been dwarfed by a building I'll show you in a few weeks after maybe a tutorial or two and a few more showcases but uh, you see a statue here we've gone inside now I should have said that um, and this is just for the lobby it's quite a simple lobby um, because well actually this is kind of a mixture between a newish and oh, uh, sorry, old designs, but um, yeah, this this statue here is was supposed to be a building. It was going to be a little Easter egg to the main building on this world, which was if I can get a map out. Oh, there it is. Um, if you go up to the middle of the map, um, all the way at the top, there's a green zone with a circle area in it, uh, and that was going to be where this was built purely because this was so big and it was going to be the main feature for the world but instead a government building got built there and that's in district 2 and I'll get to that building one day on a showcase video and it's quite a nice building actually it was the original design but like I say this is all simple designing here um, one of the early um, modern builds was built all around all the same time as uh, the court building over there Apple Center um, Slant Tower, the Lexington Broadcast Center, and everything like that. So, July 2013, 
and uh, we can tell that because we've got the stone the stone stairs I say it's every video but you know um, and there's no carpet here which kind of bugging me um, but there's a nice overhang of this open lobby and if it was to be spruced up obviously it'd look really nice for the courts and I might I will do a tutorial probably one day on how to do a lobby um, if you guys want that you should probably leave a comment in the comment section below saying what building you want to see um, be done as a tutorial and I'll get to work on that because I don't want to just be doing tutorials on whatever I want to do I want to do them for what you guys want so um, I like this little hedge feature here I don't know if you guys like that but you can say I got a little bit lazy and I probably should have put elevators and these little side bits here but I think I put I think they're supposed to be viewing type of gallery things um, but if we go up to the first apartment you can see that they're not done up um, because obviously the people that would buy them would do them up but they're nice and open each apartment is two floors <coughs> some of them are free uh, especially towards the top and they're all I think they're mostly um, oh, what's the word uh, unique yeah most of the apartments are unique and if I just take you up quickly to the divide <laughs> it's take a while because it's such a big building this is where elevators need to come in I need to start building a little chute all the way up my buildings so that when I do this type of thing I can just quickly take you all the way up to the top to an important feature but I haven't done that is this stop no I need to get to the divide bit I probably should cut this out but I'm not going to because you guys might like the little features in it but yeah anyway this is uh, another apartment see most of them are slightly different um, not too different but a little bit different I don't know how to explain it really I'm just gonna break out because it's a little bit easier um, yeah here we go now how can I get in there we go um, yeah so this would be the most expensive apartment of the building because it's three floors and it's got a lot of room and such nice views we got 360 views over the city effect no now if we take that little bit off there but have a little bit shorter so let's say 300 degree views over the sea but there's nothing really back there so it doesn't matter and if you do want to go there they can go up to the viewing gallery uh, at the bottom so yeah these are this is probably the most expensive apartment and you can also hear that uh, the two buildings connect and this is for the roof line obviously and if I go out there's nothing on the roof to my knowledge um, but yeah there's not but I think this building was actually built just purely for its design and to stand out from the low-lying buildings of the world because I kind of went crazy when um, the, <laughs> the TU-12 came out with the massive height climb thing uh, and this was probably one of the first buildings the 1% tower in uh, District 2 was the first high-rise building to properly go up I don't like that building, but I can't take it down because every time I try to destroy something on this world, Xbox freezes. That's why I moved up to PS4, and we'll get onto that one day. Uh, I'm planning a new city for that, and we'll do um, a kind of let's build series on it. I've designed a city, and I want to get it into practice. So if I just end the video on these little support columns, I add a little bit more detail. It's just like, hold this area of the building up. I like that little feature. <laughs> if I just add that in. Um, so, we've managed to talk for an entire day. Like I said at the start of the video, I could ramble on about this building for ages because it's just got so much history about it. And I wrote a little bit on a page just because I had to just like try and summarize most of it. But um, <laughs> I have been flicked and. Please rate and subscribe, and remember guys, tell me if you want tutorials on some of these buildings, and I will get that done for you. But thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>